I'd like to give you a brief introduction to a really nice, well-designed web application for visualizing satellite imagery. Esri has put together this web app that you can access just by going to the URL landsatexplorer.esri.com. And they've built this web app, so there's nothing that you have to install on your computer. It's completely done through a, uh, a web browser. And you can use this to start to familiarize yourself with satellite imagery, the different wavelengths, the different multispectral combinations that you can do in order to kind of start to understand what you're seeing, what it looks like, and what you can do with it. So for example, you can just find a location. I'm just going to type in San Francisco, select it from the list here, and it will automatically zoom to the location I've searched for. And I can zoom and pan, just like I would with any web map. And the great thing here is that you can then click this little wrench tool up here, which is the renderer, and choose a different rendering. So this one by default is meant to highlight agricultural features, but I can also do things like go to a natural color combination. So with the satellite imagery, the red band is being rendered as red, green to green, blue to blue, and that gives us a, a, a natural color image. We can do a color infrared. And there's a whole host of different rendering combinations that are available. I won't go through all of them, but I encourage you to try them out and think about, well, what's the combination that's being used? What am I seeing? What color is it? What does that mean in terms of how things are being reflected? It's a great way to explore things. If you click the question mark, this will give you information about the different band combinations. So for example, here, the color infrared is a combination of five, four, and three, and you can read the rest of it yourself. I won't go through it. I can close the rendering tool. There's things available for time selectors, so you can decide which image you want to look at from which time period. I'll just randomly pick one here and see what I get. So now I'm seeing an image from March 5th, 2015. Something else I can do is use the swipe tool to compare the satellite image to the underlying base map. That can be very useful as well, especially if you're not sure about the area, you're not familiar with the area that you're looking at. There's other options here for masking out data, looking at change detection, and if you really want to explore this in a little more detail, what I would recommend is going through the app tutorial that will walk you through some of the basics of this. So like I said, I'm just trying to give you a quick introduction to this just to make you aware of it and the fact that it's, it's an easy way for you to kind of explore some image data, look at different band combinations and think about what it is that it's doing, what it's showing you, and how you might be able to start to use this satellite image data for your own work.